Hey, it's Jeremy Bowers over here at Coal Bank Preferred. What does this alleyway in our business have to do with the real estate world? And it's simple. Our center of influence, people that we know, they know our name, they trust us. We don't spend enough time in front of them. And today I'd like to give you some ways that we do. Some people do and they crush it. Others can do more. And I'm gonna give you some ways today of how to stay in front of your center of influence better and more effectively. Number one, do you have an appreciation party for your clients? So this month, December, is annoying in the sense that there's so many parties. It's fun, but it's too much. January, you're just kind of hibernating. February, I'm from Punxsutawney, Groundhog's Day. It's the easiest month ever to get people together because they're tired of being in the uh, indoors all winter and they're cold, they're bored, and they want to get out. So in February, I highly recommend having an appreciation party. Get everybody you know, and I'm gonna give you some ideas together what you should be doing to just get people together, connect people, and what you're gonna see is another way to stay in front of your people. If the person doesn't come, it still is a benefit. What we're doing is we're narrowing the gap. We're, instead of mass marking to everybody, which a lot of us like to do, we narrow the gap and we focus on certain people Focus your money on that. Get really good at one thing. You hear me say a lot of times, and then branch out. So appreciation party with some ideas. Why can't you take someone to the movies and rent out a movie theater? Uh, a play in the city is awesome. Um, a happy hour, which many people have done. Bowling, um, art. You know, there's many, many different things that you can do with people. Rent out a hall, get people together, and literally just show the love and show the value of why you getting people together can help them in their life. And it doesn't even have to help them in a real estate practice. You could actually have financial advisor there, mortgage guy, lawyer. There's all different people you could have in this appreciation party. I just saw an agent do one, they gave pies away to all their clients. And they had a nice party, you know, they had 50 people through, they invited 100, but she at least got to talk to the other 50 people that benefited her business that she's giving back, constantly giving back. So I believe there's a lot of money that we can focus on our clients, our center of influence, people we know. We can do Facebook targeting on them. We can do the appreciation parties. Uh, we can make a simple phone call to them. We can send them free information in the mail. There's many newsletters. Remember guys, most people are getting bombarded by emails. Very few are getting handwritten letters. So do you write a handwritten thank you card to everybody uh, that you did business with last year? During the holidays, everybody gets them. No, no, no. Send it in February for Groundhog's Day. Send it in different times of the year when they only get one. How many of you get a Groundhog's Day card? Probably zero unless you know me and I only can send so many out. The holiday cards, everybody does. Have the appreciation parties in February, have them in September, have them when other people are not doing them so you get more attraction, more attention. If you want more details on how to stay in front of your clients more effectively, I have many, many more ways to share with you. Jeremy Bowers, 215-370-9107, and you can look me up on YouTube. I manage our Coal Banker office. Thanks.